Yo, what's up, what's up? How we doing, how we doing, how we doing? All right, we are we here? We old school Toros, baby. The weather is beautiful outside. Here's old school Toros. Vintage retro toys, pop culture, and sports collectibles. Hi, Kim. Welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a live sale because the way I do sales is that I had to have fresh stuff to sell. Otherwise, it may be, it can take a month, two months, or it can be every week. It all depends on what I get. And today, I'll be showing you some cool new stuff that I hope you like. So, I'm wearing my Timberwolves USA hat, my Kevin Garnett shirt. Hi, Kim. And this shirt, which my mother-in-law made, she took out this fabric, and she did a whole... Short. So some of them are match up, like we have Sonic the Hedgehog, and we have Timberwolves here, but they have pockets. There's, I love them. I have about twelve. So I have the best mother-in-law ever. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope everybody's been enjoying the good weather. I can't wait to be done here, so I can go for a walk. And I hope you're ready for some fun stuff. Again, if you're watching us for the first time, we are old school Toros. And we live in Facebook. We also on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. This video will be posted in YouTube. And so we always finding vintage stuff, cool stuff. So you can see uh, what we have today for sale. Uh, we ship anywhere in the U.S. Uh, we do Venmo or PayPal and other options that you buy a lot. So anyways, let's get this ready. Go Let's get it ready. What's up? What's up? Welcome. So here's the first table, baby. And we're starting with the Superman. We have a classic Superman. And this is $30. This is 2010. Brand new in the packet. $30 for the Superman. And here we have... Hello, Jeffrey. We have a giant Spartan from Wildcats. $15 for the giant Spartan. And when they say giant, this is about, I think it's 15 inch tall figure. Well, the regular size ones, they're like six inch. So it's almost double the size. So 15 on that. We have here the uh, kill shot. From the Suicide Squad, the Will Smith character. This is the larger figure. Uh, Suicide, Suicide Squad 2 is coming up too. So here you go. $15 for the uh, that shot. Well, we sticking with the DC here. We got a mini uh, Catwoman versus Batman fighting figure. $15 for this one, brand new in the packet. You, my son says that you can call them dolls, they're action figures. Tell him that they're, the only reason they're called action figures is because it's a marketing ploy. They're actually, everything is actually a doll. Action figure is just something to separate boys from girls, which is not right. So, you can technically call a Barbie action figure too, if you like. So here we go. So yeah, you should watch the, uh, watch the toys that made us. Uh, I think they did a whole thing on Barbie. I always tell people, some people say, oh, why do you say Barbies, you know? And I say, well, if you're into toys and you don't say Barbies, well, you're missing out the pioneer of everything. So, anyways, we got the Cyber Force, uh, $15, it's kind of heavy, from the image, this is based on, this is a spawn line, my filing, this has a crack on top, as you can see on the packet, and a crack here, and some yellowing, but the figure is brand new, so $15. 
All right, and then who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. We have a proton pack, and this one is. Uh, I think I put battery batteries inside. Let me see. Where is the switch? I know there's some type of switch because I know. Oh, here we go. Do I have to turn that on somewhere? Anyways, here is his the proton pack. I haven't used this for a while. This is a Rip Crow, baby. 2016 Proton Pack. I asked in $60 for this one. It's a child's Proton Pack. It's complete. It's in good shape. What up, Randy? Happy Bunny Day. All right. So we got some Moto here. We have the uh, Battle Ram, complete. Here's the little shooters here, $40 for the Battle Ram. <laughs> we got the Dragon Walker, $25, at, and it works. I'm not gonna mess with it right now because uh, you have to trust me on that. I put it together recently, it works. It has a brand new batteries on that, guys. $25 on the Dragon Walker. And it has the seat belt too. Uh, we got a Skeletor here. $75. It's a 1981 soft, soft head. Uh, it has some marks on it. And it has a broken sword. As you can see, the sword right here is the handle that has a little crack and some little chew marks. But it's a solid state. And it has the comic. And so, yeah, $75 for the uh, Skeletor. Sticking with the bad guys is the 85 Thundercats, the Mora, with, uh, with the staff. Figure $40 is complete right here. And we have a complete Jackar. So, Ryan, welcome to the sale. It has this strap and it has the little club, the little club action right there. All right, all right, 40 bucks. And lastly on this table, we got some Visioneer Comets. These are in mint condition. Nothing wrong with them. Well, that's some, uh, well, this one has some edge wear, but anyways, I got $5 on the number four Visioneer. These are original vintage. Number four, I got five. I got the number three, ten dollars on it. That's the cover. And here, the Star Comics, uh, we got the number two for ten dollars. Look at that nice art. Hello, welcome to the sale, Mohammed. Welcome to the sale. All right, and then the, we got this is the newer versions. Uh, this is what Transformers, Visionaires, Transformers. Look at how cool is that. Uh, $3 for this one. And we got the number four, cover B. That one is going to be $4. When they, this over here closer. All right, all right. There we go, much better. And then over here we got the number three, four bucks. Number four again, three dollars. And your number two, four dollars. All right, so we're done with this table. Now we're heading to table back here. Let me get the uh, ring light going so it doesn't turn off for me. Okay, there's a lot of cute stuff here, guys. Lots of action figures or dolls, whatever you want to call them. You play with them, they move, they're toys. Yada, yada, yada. All right, this is the strawberry shortcake 1981 cabinet. It's $30, it has the uh, all the decals. But it doesn't have the little figures. 
If it would have been with the figures, it would have been somewhere in the neighborhood of $70 or $80. So you're just getting the cabinet for $30, original. This is an, a toy that they brought back and they have a lot of reproductions out there. Uh, if you remember the jelly beans, this is 1981. This is uh, the company called Laner. These are competing, these are considered bootlegs because they want to be strawberry shortcakes. So the strawberry shortcakes were so popular that this company decided let's make something that looks like strawberry shortcake. And sell it for cheaper. So if your mother can, your parents couldn't afford a strawberry shortcake, they you probably found this one cheaper at the store. Anyways, here's a rare one, guys. Here's orange blossom. And again, I'm facing the light. There you go. Orange blossom baby. She drinks and wets. Thirty dollars. It's complete, but the package has damage. This is the original collection of strawberry shortcake that I got. So you're gonna see some strawberry shortcake here. But there's some random ones, of course, like this. Uh, Golden Girls, Rose, $40 for Betty White. This is the only one I have on this line. It's kind of random, I didn't know I had it. And then let's, before we continue to the strawberry shortcake, we're gonna go to the munchie cheese, original munchie cheese, little figures. These are $8 a piece, I'm gonna go real fast. They were Mattel. These were uh, back in 1970, no, 1984, 81. Look at the whole set that you can complete. So $8 each, these are original. They're hard to find in the packet. They're hard to find loose, never mind the packet. These packages have a lot of wear, and there are some things that have been stapled back, but the figures, they're complete. They're in different sizes, so it depends which one you want, $8 each. If you want them all, I may be able to do a deal for you. It's up to you. Uh, this, all of them are different, but this one. I had two of the same with the letter, uh, the one point, the symbols. So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six munchie cheats from 1981. Hello, Emily. Hey, Emily, let me show you something. Woo -hoo! Emily Thompson, she's the creator of those awesome pants and I'm glad I can finally wear them because it's warm outside. All right. So, st now before we go to strawberry shortcake, here is another bootleg. Not only Jelly Beans made it, but this company, they're called Sassy Dolls. Uh, this is a KO. Hello, hello. Uh, it's only $5. Uh, interesting thing about this company that I found out as I was doing my research. This, the dolls were made because this company had tons of strawberry shortcake original clothing. Yeah, you did a championship work on that, Emily. And they decided to create the doll and package them with, with the original strawberry shortcake clothing in order to resell it. And that's where Sassy Dolls came from. So you find that Sassy Doll on the wild, most likely they will have original strawberry shortcake clothing. So in, they're interchangeable. Little known fact that I didn't know. Anyways, uh, these are all the strawberry shortcakes I'm gonna show you. They are original. They are vintage, from the same collection. No reproductions here. So I'm gonna go fast because I have a lot. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we have lime chiffon with an extra outfit. Fifteen dollars, and she's missing a shoe. We got a strawberry shortcake with no hat and no shoes. Look at her, 10 bucks. We got the uh, the pie man. And unfortunately he shaved his mustache. So I do $10 on that one. 
Oh, look at the cute one. 82 apricot with hopscotch. Oh, cute bunny. $20 on this one. And here we have a apricot with no hopscotch. 10 bucks. She's missing everything, but she has the clothes. Now we have another lemon chiffon. And this is 10 bucks, no shoes, just like this. Here we have a uh, strawberry blueberry, $10 with the shoes. Out here we have a strawberry shortcake ornament. So this, I think this is a bootleg, but it's a little ornament that you can put on your Christmas tree. You see the string right there? It's kind of cool. It's missing a shoe, but it's still cool. $10 on this one. Another strawberry shortcake as is. No shoes, no hat, 10 bucks. Oh, look at the baby. Butter cookie. Look at the baby. $8 for the baby. And here we have the uh, dancing ballerina with the shoes. $15. And get into the good stuff now. We have in the original in the bus, butter cookie for $40. Okay, Emily, it's yours. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah, that, that's hilarious. We got the cherry cutler with gooseberry, $40 in the original packet. Look at that. The uh, calm is in there, but it's loose. Here we have uh, Angel Cake with Souffle. Hey, Kim. $40, uh, $45 of the Angel Cake. And one thing, if you're not familiar with strawberry shortcakes, you can smell whatever flavor. So here you can get Angel Food Cake Scent. That's a cool thing about. And this original one still smells like the real thing. Here we have a apple dumpling with the turtle. Look at that, brand new. $40. And we had the evil sour grapes. $60 for sour grapes doing the box. This is very hard to find, guys. You Again, it's very difficult to find sour grapes loose. It's difficult to find her complete. It's even more difficult to find her in the original packet. So she goes with this, the back, the back couple. What's up, Skeeter? And last but not least, here's the Queen Strawberry Shortcake, Dancing Strawberry Shortcake Doll. $40, it's missing some stuff, but it's there. So here we go, very nice. All right, so we're done with the Strawberry Shortcakes. And now we're moving to the best of the West, Johnny West. And we had two more tables after this guy, so stick in there. All right, this one had the original packet, Johnny West, $60. I mean, it has, it, the boss has been taped up. You know, there's a lot of issues, but the, doll, the action figure doll is in good shape, no cracks, it's not broken. And it comes with all this swag right here. Look at that. Look at that. All of that comes with that. So, $60. What up, Matt? Oh, thank you, man. How was this store? Was it busy? Every Saturday I've been there. There's so many people there. Yeah, I made a mistake. I tried to restock last Saturday. And it took me so much long because... I felt like I was getting into the customer's way. So I like, I had to go to a, come there a different day where it's not that busy. But it was fun to see everybody though. All right, here we go. A horsey horse. Here's the storm cloud complete. Now, this came from the original collection, original owner. The lady moved to Florida and she didn't have more space and she just wanted this to go to a new home. She put this tape under all the uh, 
her horses. So that's why it's there. You can remove that, I think, with a... Uh, there's some things to remove it. I just didn't do it because I don't like to mess with that right now. But it's $50 for this one. Really good original shape. And this, uh, if you're not familiar with Best of the West, Johnny, some people call it Johnny West. Western, it's by the Mars Company. It's probably one of the most popular cowboy uh, Western toys that they have it. It's very hard to find Western toys and think they did a really good job with this line. And uh, here's one of the bad guy, Sam Cobra. $50, it comes with all the accessories. And look at him, look at that bad boy. That guy has a lot of swag. I like the all black outfit. Oh, there's a gun in there too. Good joints. Uh, I work, the uh, doll stand is not included, but you get it. I just wanted to put it there. All right, we have another horsey. We have a brown Thunderbolt. $40 as is. Now, I sell all of these on eBay, and they're really popular on eBay. So I'm running out of them. So whatever you see here, you probably will not see it again. All right, and lastly, we have here Best of the West Poncho Welch. Pony. Look at the little pony. $40 for the pony. Again, with the um, masking tape there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting to the another table full of swag. We got some books here. Masters of the Universe and she books. Uh, these books are in perfect condition. No writing. No missing pages and no rips. Uh, here we go, $10 for the uh, River Run. We got Tila's Secret. She has a secret. I don't know what it is. $10. Uh, here we have the Chira, the queen of the ball. Here we go. Look at the hater in the back. And look at the friends here. $10. Uh, here we have... The, uh, I think this one, this one has the uh, LP too. This is the record book. So you get the little uh, record 45 in there. And is the records are in really good condition, guys. 10 bucks for the Castle Grayskull one. And $10 for the Heeman Battle Cat. Look at the, uh, the art on that, the design. I love it. They got an old school flavor, baby. All right. We got some big ones here. First, uh, here we got the Danger Girls. Look at them. They have a lot of swag. They, this is a big container. $30 for the 2000 Danger Girl figure set. Very cool. Uh, Jenny, you want those two? Uh, okay. Are you talking about the Danger Girls or are you talking about the uh, Masters of the Universe? You want this one or which one exactly? Okay, so, all right, so which books do you want? Do you want the record books? This two right here? Or you want these two books right here? Or the Shira? Or you want all of them? Everything is $10 a piece and in, good con in really good condition. Okay, so this two right here, $10 ish. Jenny, you got them. You got the Tila Secret and the River of Ruin, correct? You can send me a thumbs up. I'm just gonna write it here real quick. Oh, so this two with the records then? So the, yeah, the record ones, 
the Castle Grayskull and the Battle Cat, right? All right, you got it. Thank you. You got it, you got it. I just want to make sure because I've been known to mess stuff from time to time. All right, all right. Let's continue on. All right, out here we got a big spawn. Look at this bad boy. You got it, thank you, Johnny. We got the Cyborg number two, brand new. This remind me, if you guys watch King Kong vs. Godzilla, it was pretty cool. They did a good job with that one. I just watched it the other day. Oh, the, we got the Cyborg for $30 when doing the packet. All right, who's... And my wrestling fans, I have some cool stuff right here, guys. Some Remco. Look at this. This is old, from the 80s. Remco, AWA. I got sixty-five dollars for the get. I always messed up saying his name. It's Gatney or Gane? Greg Gatney. I know who he is. He's a Minnesota legend. Uh, this uh, the duo is actually Kurt Hunting and Greg Gatney. And Kurt Hunting is the dad of uh, Mister Perfect, a famous wrestler too. So that's a lot of legendary wrestlers here. Sixty-five dollars for the tag team. It has. It has the headbands on them. They're in really good condition, the whole outfit. $65. Oh, here we have the Thunder, the fabulous, the fabulous uh, Fuebers. Look at them. Look at the beard. Look at the hair. Look at the curves. Look at the outfits. Oh, look at the shiny. Look at the shine back here. Look at the glitter. Right, $75 for the whole set of the fabulous free birds. And lastly, we had the greatest tag team of all time. The Legion Road Warriors. Legion of Doom. Whichever way. Hawk and Animal, baby. Minnesota Legends. Has a little bit of wear here. But it has a belt, the litter, uh, uh, the neck. I don't know what you call that. Like, uh, it's, it almost looks like a, it's missing one, the one for uh, animal, but it has the one for hawk. But it has one belt. It has shoes. It has his pants. Anyways, I do $40 for the Road Warriors, guys. As is. You get exactly what is there. Minnesota Legends. All right. Here's some more. Here's Robotech. We have a little Robotech. Roy. Okay. How do you say that last name? Honestly. Um, you know. It's like, you ever seen the movie Meet the Fuckers? I think that's how you say it, but... I always feel bad. Imagine you being a high school teacher. No, a middle school teacher. And your last name is F-O-K-K-E-R. Um, man, you have to like, they, obviously students were mess with you. Or they think it, obviously they think it's funny. But anyways, Robotech. $25 with the hat, the, the, the helmet. This is rare. Uh, here's another Robotech rare piece. And he's a 1995 Esso Squad Veritech Fighter Jet. Come for it, guys. $150. Look at this beauty. All right. Let, let me see. So, 120 for the Fabulous Free Birds and the Raiders. So, let me see. You got it, brother. I do 120 of those for you. All right, Randy. They're yours. One twenty here, Randy. All right, championship. It's a championship duo. Do you have the uh, Road Warriors too already? I'm assuming you do. 
it's very hard not to. Almost everybody I know that have wrestling stuff, they have their old warriors. So, all right, brother, thank you. What up, Phil? Here we go. So, this is a little dust here, don't worry. It's been in storage. So, the 95 Robotech S Squad Very Tech Fighter Jet Complete. Uh, yes, I, I actually have a set of those, but and I just uh, upgraded my set, and that used to be my set. So, I have a better one of those. Here we go, complete, guys. Look at the condition. Beautiful jet. This is a rare piece, guys. Hard to find. All together, 150. Long time no see, brother. Can't wait to. Uh, we can go out there with shows and we can see each other again. All right, we are moving to the end of this table. We got some Star Wars. New in packet, guys. I go quick on this one. We got the uh, Cebula Spot Racer, $25 seal. Uh, here we got the Anakin Skywalker Pot Racer, $30 seal. Now we have the uh, the Fuiko Speeder with Obi Wan One Kenobi, $30. All right. And on this table, lastly, we have a plush, bitter juice, bitter juice, bitter juice. Ten dollars for the plushie. All right, look at that nice hair. All right, now continuing with the Star Wars, we got a vintage Star Wars theme tray. Look at the beautiful artwork on that, guys. Thirty-five dollars. It has some marks that I cannot get off on somewhere. As you can see closer, but this is a beautiful piece. And it's a tray that doesn't have legs like the other ones, but it's still a very beautiful piece. So $35 for the Return of the Jedi tray. All right, so now we go for the Empire Strike Back. Here's a star, uh, Darth Vader. Action figure carrier case. Just find this sometimes. Sometimes they're in bad condition. Sometimes it's not super rare. You can find it. This one looks pretty good, right? I asked him $45. And the reason I asked him $45 for this one, because this is actually, and I got this wrapped up in plastic so it doesn't scratch. But as you can see here, let's see if I can do this carefully and slowly. Take my time. This one is really clean, guys. Look at all the decals. It has the original insert. Look how beautiful is that. And when you take this out here, guys, most of the decals, they're still in their own use. So here we go. This is why it's forty-five dollars, cause you don't you don't find this in that condition. So that's an excellent condition, guys. Again, I had this in plastic, so forty-five dollars for that. Do, 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 do. Well, anyways, all right, one more nineteen seventy-nine Dubac Patrol Lister, thirty bucks as is. For the lister, hey there, look at the tail. Are you happy to see me? $30 for the OG do back. All right, here we got the speeder bike for Return of the Jedi. It is complete, $55. It's in really good condition in the inside. There's some paperwork in there, but this side of the packet is broken and missing. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Randy. So fifty-five dollars for the speeder bike. All right, we have a nice OG Hork launch bots. Let's make move the tray out of the way. And here we go. Let's check out. I got sixty-five dollars of the launcher. It's a metal, 
Let me give you a nice view of the outside. Look at how cool. The leader, rhino, moonstone, duck, Samson. I just love this era, man. The, 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 the designs and the colors and the style is so cool. And as you can see, I'm going to open this. This belonged to a kid at some point. Imagine going to school. It's sad that kids don't have this anymore. Back in the day, this... Man, you always get to rock your launch box and your trapper keeper and your backpack. That was was that was was uh, that was what it was all about, baby. And let me show you, it's missing this, but you know, it's not bad at all, guys. Not bad. So sixty five dollars on the hork launch box. Ah, uh, we got a Wonder Woman. Nice Wonder Woman here. Look at that awesome. Linda Carter figure. So Marcus, but it had the original lasso. And I use this stand. It's a 1988 Halmington Gifts Wonder Woman. You can see it has some markings, which I believe you can easily clean this up if you want to. I found this and it was in a box of stuff. So. It was sitting there for years, so I'm glad the lasso's still there. I got $40 for the Wonder Woman. Hello, Crystal. Nice to see you. All right, Evil Can Evil fans here in the house. We have an OG Evil Can Evil figure with the bike, with the stand, and the launcher. It's all there, it works. It's very good condition, guys. $130 for the Evil Knievel. This is hard find to this is hard stuff to find. When you find this stuff, it's always destroyed. This is in good shape, guys, for its age and it's working. And the outfit is in good condition. All the joints are strong. So $130 for this one. So uh, now we got sticking to the era. We keep in the 70s today. Lots of 70s stuff on this table. Wind this up. Hey, Crystal, I have some news to tell you when you have a chance. I, tell you, I, I can tell you. I don't know if Michelle and, um, and John told you, but you know, I don't want to say it now, but we can talk later. Anyway, $6 million man, $30 as is. So you see here the outfit, everything is fine. $30, it's missing the decal, I think that goes there. And it's missing the hands. When you pull out his hand, it's missing this thing right here. But $30, the outfit looks clean. It's a cool piece to see. Uh, again, this all came from the same vintage collection. So here we got Indy, Mr. Indiana Jones. Look at that blue eyes. Look at that leather. And this is a 1981 Radius of the Lost Ark Indiana Jones figure. I think this is 12 inch. It's missing the hat and the whip. But I got $45 on this one. It's original condition. Very hard, very hard to find Indiana Jones stuff there, guys. Uh, especially with the main guys. Collectors don't sell the Indiana Jones. They're very loyal. I know I've been having a hard time finding it. Uh, I find some of the characters for the line, but I never find Indiana Jones. And when I do, it sells pretty quickly. That tells you that Indiana Jones it continues to be extremely uh, popular. All right, here's another beautiful piece from the 70s. And if you don't know this guy, Ideal, in 1977, created the star team. And this is the uh, Night of Darkness. Some say that I believe that Darth Vader was an inspiration from this character. Remember, this came in 77, and Darth Vader came out in 1978. 
with Star Wars. So very similar uh, comparison here. Has the belt, has some wear here. Again, this came from the same uh, uh, collection. Look at the uh, feet. Look at the back of the cape. It's a cool looking figure. Uh, so I have $45 on the uh, Star Team Night of Darkness. I'll soon say the inspiration of Darth Vader. All right, sticking to this. Well, uh, I have a Ghostbuster here real quick. Uh, Phil, I don't know if you had this one, but it's the uh, Slimmer uh, figure. Uh, 2019 version. 20 bucks. Ben new, of course. Here we go. So 20 bucks on the slimmer here. I think this is my only Ghostbuster stuff on this sale. All right. All right, let's finish up with the uh, with the $6 million man 70 stuff. So, but before we do, I have a Ezekiel. Ezekiel for, uh, you want the slimmer? It's yours, brother. Let me put it away. See, I know what you like. All right, all right. Here we go. You got it, brother. All right, 2016, The Walking Dead, Ezekiel. $15 with his, uh, with his little chef. Slimer, it's Slimer. Uh, Slimer. Yeah, my wife just told me saying that it's Slimer. She had to come all the way here. Um, yeah, at the beginning of the sale, I have a couple. I only have this for Batman on this sale. It's um, the Catwoman versus Batman minifigure on the stand. Yeah, Slimer. I don't know why I said that. You know, English is my second language. What can I say? I'm still learning. Here we go. This is the whole set. So $15 on this one. So, Phil, if you want this one, I'll give you this one for... Uh, all right, you, I got to give you a deal since you got the other one. 10 bucks on this one for you. All right, brother? All right. You got it. All right, so let's, uh, I, was, I wanted to say about this. If you never heard of uh, CryptoCon, which is a horror convention in the Twin Cities, this year, if everything is well... Hi, Ava. Welcome, welcome. Ezekiel is signed up to be at the show. So this is pretty cool. We get to meet him in person. So I'm saving some other stuff for the show, but I have this loose figure. So $15 for the Ezekiel. I'm pretty excited about him because I like, I like that character. So, all right. So let's finish up on the $6 million man. He is a really nice piece. This is the mascot throne. Here we go. A hundred bucks for this baby. Original packet. It's supposed to uh, um, change the mask. This is what it looks in the packet. You put the mask on the back. He, uh, he disguises as different things, as you can see. He's supposed to have three faces. Here's the packet. I'm going to get the figure out so you see it now. So you can see the, the package has wear. Again, I found this all in one box inside. So I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm kind of bringing this back to life. These were abandoned figures that were forgotten. So we're well, having issues getting this out of here. Here we go. So I just want to show you the figure is actually in really good condition, guys. Here's all the parts. Everything is here, but one of the faces. One of the faces is in the backpack. So I think I'm missing the six million dollar man face. So I have this guy face, and you can see you can take off the face. So I have Colonel Austin, Oscar Gorman in the backpack. But hey, Meredith, 
Uh, but I'm missing Maskatron. Hey, Meredith, guess what? This is your girl right here. This is with the lasso. This is for 1988. I got 40. This is the only thing I have, Wonder Woman. FYI. She's a beaut. All right. So, real quick, we are heading to the end of the sale here. The last table, the last part. So, let's start with these big old icons. Marvel Legends Iron Man. Look at that, brand new in the packet. Look at all the accessories that come with here. I need $35 on the 2006 Iron Man. Right? She's, yeah, she's awesome. This came from the 70s collection, so. She's awesome. All right, we got a Battle Cat. Masters of the Universe guys are still watching this sale. This one is in good condition, 82. Uh, some people ask me, can I see the date on the Battle Cat? And let's find it. It's usually back here in well, one of the legs. Here we go. So as you can see, in 1982, Mexico. So I ain't lying to you. It's in really good condition. Javier, you miss a lot of Star Wars stuff, brother. You gotta go back uh, about five minutes. Once I post the video, go back, cause I, that's a lot of Star Wars stuff, okay? And I'm almost done with the sale, but yes, you missed some Star Wars stuff. All right, and so we got the Battle Cat. We also had the 1982 Attack Track Vehicle, and it works, 35 bucks. Good condition, guys. $35 for Battle Cat. We also have a complete. 1986 Drag Store. No comic. But it has the uh, weapon. The bow. And it has the uh, string. 38 bucks. Oh, Phil. Did you have this guy? Sorry, I forgot I had this one there. This is a complete race dance, Queen Heroes, 20 bucks. Ooh. With a weapon and everything, 20 bucks. Let me know. Uh, we have some loose reaction toys from the uh, Teen Wolf. The two different versions loose. This came from a personal collection. I opened them from the packet. They're in really good condition. All right, all right, Phil, just checking. So $15 for the two reaction Michael J. Fox Sting Wolves figures. All right, and uh, okay, so we got three more items. Here we go. 1984 Voltron Doom Blaster, $10 as is. Here we go, and I can. It's as is because it's missing the shooting. They're supposed to have some things you put here and they shoot out. I don't have those. Uh, for you, uh, Meredith, uh, let, let's talk after this hill, okay? So, yeah, I put it aside for you. How's that? I will, I will put it aside for you, okay? All right. Here we go. So the Doom, uh, Voltron Doom Blaster, missing the uh, little shooting sticks, 30 bucks. All right, and lastly, two original Amigo figures. 1974 Shazam, 50 bucks. You, what you see is what you get. Strong joints, no cracks. Here we go for the Shazam. Really good colors, all original clothing. Of course, it's missing the, uh, the what do you call that, the lightning. But, I mean, not bad for his age as it, his condition, 50 bucks. And lastly, 50 bucks on the beautiful Urura. Look at that, it's a nice condition. Look, look at the shine. 
Beautiful condition figure, guys. Look at the hair. Everything is really nice. So $50 on this one. So again, I just want to say thank you for watching. Happy Easter, everybody. I'll be posting this picture in my, in the page first as uh, in a few minutes. But then I record this and I will post it. You have a chance to re-watch this again. So if you miss anything, you have a question or anything, let me know. I'll let you know if it's still available or not. I will check out the comments in case I uh, miss anything on during this sale as well. That's the first thing I will do. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Enjoy the weather out there if you're in Minnesota. Be safe.